So we're on our Apple computer. We're gonna load the disk utility. If you don't know where it's at, you can go to Finder. Uh, new Finder window. Go to your Applications selection on the left and then go Utilities and then you'll find Disk Utility. So once we load Disk Utility, so I'm going to erase that up. Yep. So we're going to take it from here. I'm going to go with EXFAT, Atom EXFAT so that we can go ahead and do our test as far as what the Blackmagic can read. I'll go ahead and erase it and that's it and here at this point uh, time machine is asking well we don't want it and i will use that so that would be the one so we're going to go ahead and test this one in a moment it didn't work the other option is we can do the same thing and do the erase and change from exfat to uh, journal which is the other option that I was told that would work. Uh, so, journal, and we're gonna erase that. And we're gonna test it, see if the item will read that. So right there, showing details, doing changes, so it's gotta erase it first. It's changing the partitioning system, so it takes a little longer than the usual. All right, so same thing, we don't use it there done and that's that it did work and now we're on our pc so here's the drive in windows and this is the disk management utility from windows i'm just going to create a simple volume follow the screen uh right there is uh what continue simple volume wizard uh, I don't want to change that and uh, drive letter it's okay to assign it and then I'm going to click next one more time and file system I'm going to select EXFAT everything else is just going to stay the same except for the name it's going to be HM EXFAT Windows oops doesn't like the extra so we'll just put an extra letter W and we'll let it do its thing and there it goes it's formatted it didn't work. So after trying uh, the following options, I tried off of, of the Apple computer, I tried Mac OS Extended Journal and EXFAT from the Apple as well using the disk utility and from PC using the partition utility from Windows. It worked as well using EXFAT. Now, uh, one thing I tried too, I used the utility a partitioning utility and that one didn't work so here's uh, the summary I'll say of my findings uh, and there's a third thing there the first or the first thing that you want to make sure is that the drive that you're using is compatible so there would be two things that you need to be aware of first is my drive compatible ideally get a drive that is in the list and, and if for whatever reason if you're doing you're partitioning it with Windows or Mac using EXFAT or the Mac OS X journaled one, and it doesn't work. Basically, that is your drive that is not compatible. I'm telling you that because I tried one drive uh, uh, that wasn't compatible and, and there was no way I could make it work. It, it wouldn't even show up uh, a light. If it's partitioned incorrectly, it will give you an orange light. If it's partitioned correctly, it will give you a green light. Right after that, you should be able to hit the record button and it'll turn into a red light. Basically, it's recording and you can stop at any moment. I prefer to use uh, EXFAT just because that will give you the portability to be able to switch or you insert your drive to any of the two operating systems, either on PC, uh, Windows or on Mac. Use that, uh, but just make sure that your drive is compatible.